Guys, I just randomly discovered this really cool new project, new company in the United States. They're producing what I think is a, a truly revolutionary product. It is windows that are solar panels. So you don't even know it's a solar panel. It just looks like a window. But actually, it's harvesting massive amounts of power from the sun. Now, imagine if every window in every office building in the United States was actually a solar panel. That would actually be enough power to power every household in America. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. A company called Next Energy Technologies has upgraded its pilot manufacturing line in California to produce 40 by 60 inch laminated transparent power generating windows using its unique Next OPV coating and manufacturing process. These 40 by 60 inch units are the largest transparent OPV windows produced anywhere in the world. There are companies already producing windows like this, but they're not as big and they're not really as useful. So this is actually a really cool American innovation. The pilot production marks a significant step toward enabling the glass industry to produce full-scale vision area glass for clean solar energy producing facades. I'm really looking forward to the day when all new houses, the windows are actually these solar panels. I mean, imagine how cool that'd be. You might be thinking, well, not all windows get direct sunlight. And I was speaking to a solar company today. In fact, the CEO of Resync Solar. If you want to use Resync Solar, I use their solar systems for my house. Really, really good. I met with him. And I said to him, you know, I, I can't believe the solar system you installed on my roof works when there's no sun. I, I literally generate power off the solar system when the, the, the sun is not heating it at all. It's remarkable. So this could be the same. These windows could do the same thing, potentially. That said, they still would make a lot more sense to be used on the, you know, the areas where those particular windows are going to get sunlight or even on car windows as well. Next, OPV coatings address the three big challenges to creating a scalable solution for the commercial glass industry, aesthetics, performance, and manufacturability. The neutral gray coating, modeled after the most adopted color in North American commercial facades, is combined with power generation and inline manufacturing to make a viable solution for the glass industry. The combination of highest quality aesthetics, power generation, and integration with the glass supply chain is a game changer in the push toward designing net zero buildings, said Andy Cohen, co-chairman of architecture group Gensia. Just mid last year, we were demonstrating next 27 by 35 inch OPV windows at our office in Los Angeles. And with this larger window format, we have sustainable building projects in our sites. Next is preparing demonstration installations with key US and European partners while focusing on shifting from pilot to production scale and obtaining safety and performance certification for grid connected projects. Pretty cool that you can you know, connect windows in new buildings or you will be able to to the grid and essentially make money by selling electricity back into the grid. This milestone is further evidence to an industry hungry for a solution that our combination of OPV coatings and advanced manufacturing processes is working, scaling, and can be rapidly deployed to the company. What's next for them? Well, the next win windows they're going to be working on, they're working on windows that are much bigger, 60 by 120 inch windows for commercial production for you know big office buildings. How cool is that going to be? When you look at an office building, you don't think, oh, what an eyesore, what a waste of electricity that is. Or, you know, we're going to be looking at these buildings and thinking, wow, look at that big building creating all this electricity. So these kind of buildings will be able to run. You think about it, right? It actually makes total sense for kind of office buildings because people aren't usually in offices in the, during the nighttime. So when people are actually in the office, would normally be, say, between 8 a.m. and maybe 6 p.m. in the day. Usually, there's sun during those hours. <laughs> it's, it's really the perfect solution here to be able to be creating power when you're using it and they're not creating power in these offices when people aren't there and don't need it. Next, proprietary transparent OPV coating can transform commercial windows into clean energy generating facades, making buildings more sustainable and resilient and alleviating strain on electricity grids all around the world. 
Not only can they produce on-site power, the windows also absorb and convert infrared light, reducing the building's HVAC demands or demands on air conditioning. These solar panels, eventually we're going to see these in buildings on mass, I think all around the world. We already know that some, some versions of these are in buildings in different cities around the world, but the panels will simply get better and better. Solar panels used to be just absolutely terrible when they first came out. The efficiency was shocking. The cost was ridiculous. They've gotten better every single year. Cost has come down enormously. Efficiency continues to grow. This will, this, the same thing will happen with these windows. And the future, my friends, in many ways is looking so positive when you see these kinds of fantastic new developments, especially seeing as, as well, this is not a Chinese company. I mean, the solar industry is dominated by Chinese companies. This is an American company. So let's get behind this, support it. I'll put a link to their website. Click on that. That will help them. Thanks for watching. All right, all right, all right, my friends. If I win the lottery, yeah, I'm going to buy one of these because honestly, this thing is awesome. Imagine your own RV or caravan as we call them here in Australia, which could literally drive itself, meaning your EV range would not decrease at all if you were towing this thing around. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I have this little dream just want to share with you. That is that um, I pack up all the stuff, stick the surfboards in one of these things or, you know, some kind of RV, some kind of caravan and travel around and try and just find all the, the surf breaks with my boys, you know, as they're learning to surf, just get them to all the fun surf breaks all around Australia. So that's what I personally would love to do. And this would be the ultimate mobile to make my dream a reality. But I don't have 250,000 US dollars, unfortunately, spare to spend on something like this. Lightship's 250,000 US dollar AE1 Cosmos Edition trailer Let's EV owners tow without decreasing their range. So how does it do that? Well, it has its own battery. The Lightship AE1, formerly known as the L1, is now on sale. The price is $250,000. Well, actually it starts at $250,000. So it's one of the most expensive uh, types of vehicles like this that exist. The big feature is its ability to propel itself, significantly reducing the range drop typically experienced with vehicles when towing. Lightship was founded in 2020 by former Tesla employees, Ben Parker and Toby Krauss, and it began selling uh, things like this in 2022. This RV has some pretty amazing features. It has its own battery pack and motors, and it also has a telescoping section, upper section and an aerodynamic design to reduce drag. The AE1 Cosmos Edition is the production version of the L1 and it's available right now. Apparently, if you want to get on the list to buy one of these, you've got to put down seven and a half thousand US dollars because they're only going to build 50 of this Cosmos Edition. So what are the details? It's actually got a very big battery pack. It sleeps four people and it has its own bathroom. And it, the battery pack is a 77 kilowatt hour battery integrated solar panels on the roof supply that battery with energy while you're driving while you're camping whatever that may be it also has a refrigerator an induction cooktop and a freezer plus a microwave and a convection oven plus a dishwasher auto leveling highway range assist and a rear hitch on the trailer itself the ae1 comes with a nax charging cable and is starlink ready so it's got everything internet uh more than enough electricity to power every single device inside of it, solar panels to recharge the battery, um, Tesla charging capability. Yeah, I mean, this thing's pretty damn awesome, right?